Blake Lucas sat smoking a Pleiades, sipping single malt from the liquor cabinet in a plastic cup with his hand resting between his thighs, his eyes half-closed and focusing on the television, oblivious to the two naked girls wreathing him on the sofa. Elizabeth leaned over into the mirror resting by Blake's lap, a rolled dollar bill pinched between her thumb and forefinger. Darcy North sat beside them, running her thin hand through her flaxen hair and looking gone. The room smelled of acrid tobacco and sweet, spilled wine. A bottle of Sauterne lay ravaged, without its S and decapitalized, on the oak coffee table. A small pool of gold just under the neck. A pair of discarded black panties, the collected works of Toulouse-Lautrec, and Blake's feet lent balance to an otherwise minimalist still life. Darcy felt extremely tired, but she knelt into Blake's lap where the coke mirror now rested and bumped her weary soul back into the present. The television mocked the scene in grayscale. A VHS tape of a French farce tickled Blake's temperament and bored the two girls to tears. Blake chewed lightly on the end of his cigar, musing on the spirits of Where There's a Will, while Lou Reed crooned in the background on Walter Scott's new disc changer, beginning to see the light bouncing through the heavy air, riding on wisps of blue smoke. The room grew cold, and Liz rose to adjust the thermostat, her firm large breasts rigid with the chill, while Blake stretched his arms to the ceiling with a yawn. He slapped Darcy on her bare ass and said, It's been fun, girls. Same time tomorrow? Darcy looked askance at Liz, who was standing before the thermostat, shivering, trying to read the gauge in the half-light, and then up at Blake, poised and sleepy-eyed above her, flicking ash into an empty wine glass and smiling broadly. I don't know, Blake. Call me tomorrow? Sure thing, babe. Wear that red skirt, Kay. Okay. As Blake sped out of the Scott family driveway in his dropped-down Mazda, Elizabeth returned to the sofa from the bathroom and curled up in a flannel robe. Darcy sat naked still, the monochromatic glow of the television dimly revealing the thousand-yard fatigue in her eyes, her hands fumbling nervously with Blake's abandoned Dixie cup. She sniffed the contents and then licked the rim with her eyes closed, her arms tight to her body and her legs done up underneath her. Sighing, she carefully placed the cup on the end table to her right and then looked left at Elizabeth, whose blank stare suggested hints of frustration. We gotta stop this, Darcy. He's not that cute. He's not smart. And his father works at Woolworth. I know. You mind if I sleep with you tonight? No, but don't lay waste to the covers. And I get Tickle Me Elmo on my side. <laughs>